Hello boys welcome back to another important session for UPSC NDA this session is meant for class 12th both biology and computer science students and this is meant for 11th august 2020 if you recollect from your memory we were talking about answering of all these questions in my previous session i had posted here but unfortunately none of you have answered this you are not posted in the group so i have decided to give the answers at least that will help you so i will be reading out fast the questions are already with you so match list 1 and list 2 and select the correct answer by using the code given below so list 1 you got a b c d vitamin b enzyme c hormone d protein list 2 examples are there one pepsin two carotene three uh, keratin and four progesterone and the codes are there so alternatives a b c d so the answer we can see here is yes we can see answer b question 1 b what is b that is the answer for question 1 it is b and the b is let me come back yeah b is 2143 that is 2 vitamin a vitamin 2 carotene and uh, b 1 1 pepsin enzyme so enzyme pepsin is an enzyme and 4 progesterone is hormone and then what is left out protein protein keratin k e r a t i n 3 is protein now we go to question 2 which of the following elements are present in all proteins so carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen what are all the present now the alternative i am giving here question 2 is the proteins are d and the answer logic is proteins are composed of molecules called amino acids and each amino acid contains all the four elements hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and carbon now we come to question 3 question 3 deficiency of which of the following causes xerophthalmia vitamin b3 vitamin b12 vitamin a and vitamin c it must be so question 3 the answer again will check is c xerophthalmia caused by severe vitamin a deficiency is described by pathologic dryness of the conjunction Uh, conjunctiva and cornea it's a eye disease basically dryness of the eye you can remember conjunctive conjunctiva becomes dry thick and wrinkled if untreated it can lead to corneal ulceration cancer to cornea and ultimately blindness as a result of corneal damage so vitamin a is very very essential and now we go to question 4 in question 4 the question 4 which of the following disease is not caused by viruses so cholera chicken pox hepatitis measles now here you must remember not caused by virus okay so it is not caused by virus not caused by virus question number 4 of course you at least biology boys know cholera is an acute epidemic infectious disease it is character uh, characterized by watery diarrhea extreme loss of fluid and electrolytes and severe dehydration it is caused by bacterium vibrio cholera that is that's how this is rest of the diseases three diseases are caused by virus and question number 5 we come to question number 5 and the five is which of the following is involved in controlling blood sugar level that is we are talking of the diabetic so pituitary gland islets of longer hands hypothalamus and spleen now what computer boys should do is just go to google and just 
see the anatomy of human body then identify where is pituitary gland where are the islets of longer hands hypothalamus and spleen then you will come to know and which one will be controlling the blood sugar anyway at right right now question number 5 let's go for the answer the answer is b the islets of longer hands are responsible for the endocrine function of the pancreas actually you must remember the gland pancreas the inability of the islet cells to make insulin or the failure to produce sufficient amounts of insulin so that blood sugar or blood glucose level will be controlled and if it is not it results in you know all of you know diabetes mellitus so sugar disease we call it they are named after the german physician paul longhans who first described them in 1869 so the normal human pancreas contains about so many islets okay so you must remember it as pancreas and inside the pancreas islets of longer hands will be there now question number 6 we'll go to question number 6 which of the following are water borne diseases so he has given a list viral hepatitis cholera of course and typhoid fever and amebiasis so you got a 1 and 2 only 1 2 3 1 and 4 only and 2 3 4 so water is very very essential but we must have clean water and whenever we drink polluted water that results in problem so water borne diseases are conditions caused by pathogenic microbes that are transmitted through water a disease can be spread while bathing washing or drinking water or by eating food exposed to infected water so what is the answer answer is d question number 6 answer d question number 6 answer d 2 3 and 4 2 cholera 3 typhoid and 4 amebiasis viral hepatitis is a born and then question number 7 kero carrot is the good source of i think it should be carrot is a good source of vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e Uh, let's see those people who are eating lot of carrots you know it so uh, question number 7 of course vitamin a in carrot comes in the form of beta carotene a healthy antioxidant so antioxidants control the cancer cells eating plenty of carrots every day can improve your vision greatly because vitamin a is directly retinol and it uh, helps us in our vision good eyesight question 8 question 8 we come to that blood pressure bp we say is controlled by a hormone so vasopressin oxytocin estrogen and testosterone of course all of you know estrogen and testosterone they are sex hormones now the choice is between vasopressin and oxytocin oxytocin has got a, a name pet name happy hormone oxytocin so let's see question number 8 what is the answer question number 8 is question number 8 answer a anti diuretic hormone it is called adh or vasopressin acts as a renal collecting ducts via v2 receptors to increase water permeability which leads to decreased urine formation and uh, this increases blood volume cardiac output and arterial pressure so it is the adh that is present in kidney is related to bp blood pressure so must be careful question number 9 question number 9 is among the following which one is the highest source of ascorbic acid ascorbic acid vitamin c apple beans carrot and guava of course all are good and uh, let's see question number 9 is it guavas peru are the excellent source of vitamin so vitamin c 
with one fruit providing 280% of the daily value for this nutrient 280% goa will also provide you with 15% of daily value of vitamin a and smaller amounts of niacin vitamin b6 thiamine and riboflavin these are vitamin b complex so it's very good to eat peru peru a day is very good for health question number 10 question number 10 is which of the following part of blood carries out the function of body defense is it rbc which are responsible which will act as soldiers and protectors so they part the they form the part of our defense system or is it wbc platelets hemoglobin i think even computer boys can answer this question question number 10 i am sure you must have guessed it is b the white blood cell also called leukocytes or white blood corpuscles a cellular component of the blood that lacks hemoglobin but it has a nucleus it is capable of motility and it defends the defends the body against infection and disease by ingesting foreign materials and cellular debris and this destroys infectious agents and cancer cells uh, by producing antibodies so it is the wbc who are the soldiers for us and help in our defense question number 11 question number 11 let's go which one of the following glands in human body enlarged due to goiter goiter disease okay uh, it, it, the swelling of uh, throat or the neck region and it is due to mainly lack of iodine so only many advertisements you are seeing iodized salt so which is the gland that gets enlarged and that should be present in the uh, neck region or uh, throat region adrenal cortex adrenal medulla of course you know adrenal means kidney side pituitary and thyroid so you know the answer what is the answer for question number 11 is it yeah a goiter is swelling in the neck resulting from the enlarged thyroid gland that's why many times they will be asking you thyroid problem thyroid problem the disease what was later named after irish doctor robert james graves who described a case of goiter with exophthalmos in 1835 so goiter swelling swelling of thyroid gland question 12 let's go to question 12 12 deficiency of which one of the following causes knock knee bow legs and pigeon chest in children and all these are very important for science school boys because in nda in during medicals they will see and you should not have knock knee you should not have disshaped legs and of course you should not have pigeon chest is it because of lack of vitamin a or is it lack of vitamin b2 or vitamin d and vitamin e of course even computer boys must have guessed but still we'll see question number 12 what is the answer answer is vitamin d answer c is essential for strong bones because it helps the body to use calcium from the diet traditionally vitamin d deficiency has been associated with rickets and that disshaping uh, weak bones and a disease in which bone tissue does not properly mineralize leading to soft bones and skeletal deformity now question 13 question 13 will come what is that question 13 which one of the following is responsible for blue baby syndrome sometimes you know when uh, the babies will turn bluish and cry a lot is it because of lack of fluoride nitrate arsenic or lead which one is responsible for this question number 13 question number 13 let's see the answer it is the d nitrates in drinking water a sort of blue baby syndrome can also be caused by methomegalobinemia it is widely believed to be caused by nitrate contamination in ground water resulting in decreased oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin in bodies leading to death so this is a very serious case so whenever nitrates are more in water and higher the nitrogen lesser the oxygen 
they are inversely proportional nitrogen and oxygen hence uh, there will be uh, deficiency in oxygen in the blood so the baby turns bluish now question number 14 question number 14 what is the question uh, consider the following vitamins he has given uh, scientific names of vitamins or chemical names of vitamins niacin pyridoxin riboflavin and thymine which of these are water soluble all of you know uh, in, in a plain way vitamin b and c b c are water soluble but you must know what is chemically vitamin b and what is uh, chemically vitamin c so let's see question number 14 question number 14 what is the answer it is b eight of the water soluble vitamins are known as vitamin b complex as i said vitamin b1 uh, thymine riboflavin niacin vitamin b6 pyridoxin foliate folic acid vitamin b12 biotin and pantothenic acid the b vitamins are widely distributed in foods and their influence is felt in many parts of the body so along with vitamin b you must also remember vitamin c vitamin c is also present uh, water soluble uh, one water soluble vitamin now come to the last question question number 15 the major component of honey is is it glucose sucrose maltose or fructose remember all are sugars in that which one which sugar is present in honey it's the answer d the major components of honey are fructose 38.2 percent glucose 31.3 maltose 7.1 sucrose 1.3 water 17.2 percent higher sugars 1.5 ash 0 point and other underestimated uh, undetermined 3.2 so the highest is fructose fructose is the sugar that will be present in honey and you have seen how many sugars are present in this so it is better to have daily one spoon of honey so that all sugars are available to you uh, your defense system will be good so this is how you need to answer uh, 